everybody in my family catches lobster. Me and my sister are fourth generation lobstermen. Throughout these generations of all of us lobstering, the lessons I've learned about sustainability are if we don't protect it now, then we're not gonna have it in the future. I'm Heather Thompson. I am captain of fishing vessel Gold Digger with my sister Hillary as my stern man. My great-grandfather was a lobsterman. My grandfather was a lobsterman. My dad is a lobsterman. My two sons are lobstermen, and my niece is a lobsterman. My name is Lainey, and I'm a fifth-generation lobster fisherman. It's what we all do. It's really, it's a, a physically demanding job. I mean, you have to worry about the tides, bait, getting your rope, buoys, your traps. So many things, it's, it's even hard to, to fathom until you actually have to go and do it. One of the sayings my father used to say was, be somebody. You know, it doesn't matter if, if we were a guy or a girl on the back. It's like, if you want to do it, you can do it. You just have to make sure you push yourself. Be somebody, do it. He's taught me just about everything I know, especially the sustainability of lobster, making sure that we're protecting our own future and my children's generation to catch lobster. We plan to do this the rest of our lives if it allows us. Lobster fishermen have been practicing sustainable fishing for many generations before the regulations even came into effect. We inspect every single lobster we pull aboard. If it's undersized, we throw it back. And if it's oversized, we throw it back. We want the resource to be sustainable. And if we take the big ones and, and harvest them, then there's not lobster for future generations. When we pull up a lobster that has eggs on it, we take our tool and we make a little nick in its tail. We call it a V-notch. It makes a little V in the fin. That means you throw it back because it's an egg-bearing female. And that's important for the future sustainability of lobster population. Our future is worth more than that. We're really appreciative of the job the fishermen do day in and day out. It's a tough job, and we establish face-to-face -face meetings with them so we can understand their business, who their family is, and what their challenges and opportunities are. It helps us to keep the resource vibrant for future years, and it helps them meet our needs and get the highest quality seafood. If we don't take care of our future, then, then nobody else will. It's our kids' future. My grandfather always told me to be somebody. It means to like work hard and do your best at whatever you do. And the name of my boat is Be Somebody. Through these 50 years, throughout these generations of all of us lobstering, my great-grandfather practiced sustainability of lobsters. He protected the lobsters he threw back to ensure that my generation and my children's generation would be able to, to catch lobster. When a lobster is put on somebody's plate and brought to them and they look at it, I want them to think of how much of a tradition and how much time and effort and thought went into this, this catch. It's a lot of generations, a lot of learning, a lot of hard work, a lot of time that went into that.